We bring to you the inspired word of God as you listen to the teachings and preachings of the servant of God, Hosanna David, preaching the end time gospel. actually an accident it is what everybody is expecting we are all on a journey we are joining uh, the journey started when God actually sent us into this world even before our parents conceived us the journey started God sent us into the womb the journey began when God actually sent us, sent the souls. What happened in the mother's womb was just a, a physical process of formation. That one did not form the soul. God sent the soul. This is what we are being told here in Revelation 12, 7. That then when the balloon bursts, when the egg breaks and the water spills and we can't gather it anymore, the preacher, the preacher here is saying that then the body will return to the ground as it was in the Garden of Eden before God picked the dust, molded it and formed the man. And then the soul will go back to God, who gave it. That means God gave the soul some time ago. Today, our mother is gone. She has successfully completed her life's journey. All of us, we are still on the journey. Uh, we came from the womb, but we are not going back to the womb. We are all going to the grave. Uh, I don't know if there's anybody here who is not going to the grave. Me, I know my destination. My destination is a grave. And this time, each time they roll people into this church, or wherever I attend any funeral service, I usually do something to caution myself. If I the last one that was done here, the barrier, I did it too. I don't forget this exercise. 
I will always look at the casket. And I will tell myself, Hosanna, you shall lie inside the casket like this one day. So be very, very careful. The, if the most uh, serious sermon I have ever heard. Each time I see a casket and I see a cup inside, I give myself a strong warning. That you see this earth, it is vanity. Don't be carried away. You will lie like this one day. In fact, those who are buried with caskets are even fortunate. At least they have some honor. Some fire accident. You see the one in Lagos? Eh? People were born to ashes. We, have, we, are, we live in Nigeria. We've seen cases where uh, terrorists, people fighting uh, jihad, could just shut the doors of churches, set fire on the church, and then people were born to ashes. So the, those who are even buried with caskets, they have, at least their bodies, have some honor. So we should know that we have two parts. The part that came out of this ground and the part that came from God when God breathed into the nursery of man and man became a living soul. We shall all live. One day, one by one, we are living already and we shall all live. Uh, it pains me when I see some people sometimes biding death and praying, I shall not die, singing on some of those songs. It's not that, uh, brother, will you die? I shall not die. You will die. You. Forget that song. Our prayer is that we should not die before our time. And even when it is our time, we should die well. I posted something recently. I said, God, help us to die so that we can live and never die. That is dying well. Even in death, in your dying, God should help you, give you the grace to die well. Uh, this is our mommy that just passed on. I was close to her, visited her, prayed with her, even in the hospital. But you will always see her faith. Even the move of reconciliation. Uh, I said uh, we had a uh, quarrel with so so person. She went to that extent. A lot of times when people die... The, when they fall sick, they don't think about those things. It is witch, witchcraft. The devil they focus on. Me, I like those. I'm not praying for it anyway, but uh, dying through sickness is better than accident on the road. Do you know why? The death will be crawling towards you gradually, gradually. You are seeing the death. It's coming. In fact, in some cases, some parts of your body could be gone. Is and it's tormented death. You so you have all the opportunity to prepare for eternity. So we should not cry sometimes when some people fall sick before they die. They have a lot of times over and over to prepare themselves for eternity. But those who usually die who die through accident, why? Say accident, accident. They may not think about that first. We are here because of our sister and mother, Queen. Uh, let's think about our lives. You are here and you came here with Akashif, you want to cry. Please don't cry. If at all you want to cry, cry for yourself. Even as I cry for myself because we shall all live. We are on a journey. Me, I can't deceive myself. Faith does not deny the truth. Let us prepare ourselves because we shall all stand before the Holy God who shall judge us, some with mercy, that means for those who show mercy in the world, and some without mercy but with anger, that is for those who refuse to show mercy. May the Lord help us to live well and also to die well in Jesus' name. Let us pray. Lord, we pray that you help us to live for you, not to die for you. Because the scripture says, whether we live or we die, we are the Lord's. So in death and in life, help us to be yours. In Jesus' name we pray.
We hope you were blessed by this message. For more information, visit our website www.egoeyeopener.com Email us at hosannadavid at or info at egoeyeopener.com God bless you.